Hello everyone, Sue from Pokisutami here. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Japanese festivals. While playing the Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Teal Mask, we got to experience the Festival of Masks, the famous festival of Mosui Village in Kitakami. Although this was an all too brief experience, there is still a lot of fun references to real life Japanese festivals to discuss. As always, please do consider hitting that like button, subscribing and dropping a comment. It all really helps a lot. With all that being said, let's get on with the video. Kitakami's Festival of Masks is called Omote Matsui in the Japanese version of the game. Omote means front side. In this case, it is likely in reference to the front side of a mask. Matsui is the term for a Japanese festival. The Festival of Masks has been celebrated in Kitakami for many, many years. It is even shown that the festival was held before the incident between the Loyal Free and Ogapon. But it's never clarified if the festival had any particular purpose at this time. But it was shown that during this time, Ogapon and her human companion would take solace at the nightly festivals, as everyone would wear masks. This allowed them to hide their own identities behind their own masks. However, following the confrontation between Ogapon and the Loyal Free, the villagers of Mosui Town, not knowing the truth, decided to hold the festival to celebrate and thank the Loyal Free for their sacrifice. But unbeknownst to all but a few, Ogapon would still frequent these festivals in secret. In Japan, there are an endless number of Matsuri festivals held every year. Matsuris can be held during any season, but they are most commonplace during the summer months, between July to September. These are called Natsu Matsuri, or in English, summer festivals. Matsuris are often held at schools, community centers, parks, or nearby local shrines and temples. Matsuris are also held for a number of different reasons. To build up a community, to celebrate a season, to show children's growth at school, to pray for good luck, or to honor the gods and deities at local shrines. In the case of Kitakami's Festival of Masks, it seems to be a summer matsuri based on the common outfits worn by attendees. Additionally, it seems as though the Festival of Masks was possibly a community building festival that just happened to be held by the shrine but then later become a festival to honor the loyal free, who more or less became deities to the people of Mosui Town. The outfit worn by the majority of the attendees, including the player character as well as Carmine and Kirin, is called a Jinbe. Jinbe are a two-piece traditional Japanese summer outfit, commonly made from thin, airy cotton or hemp fabric. Jinbe come in all different colors, with endless variety of dyed patterns and even sometimes characters or illustrations. While a common sight at festivals, they are also worn frequently as loungewear inside the home. At the Festival of Masks, there is a large selection of food stalls. The first food stall sells yakisoba. Yakisoba is a popular dish consisting of chuka soba noodles, a protein such as pork, chicken or even seafood veggies including cabbage, carrot, onion and many more. But most importantly, a special yakisoba sauce, which has a hard to describe flavor. Yakisoba can also be topped with Japanese mayo, aonori, beni shoga or katsuobushi as garnishes. You can even add an omelet over top to transform it into omu yakisoba. The next stall is a candied fruit stall. The most popular items sold at these stalls are usually ringo ame, candied apples, with both red and green often being available. However, I don't think I've ever seen caramel apples sold at festivals in Japan. Because of this, I was somewhat surprised by Diplin's shiny coloring representing a caramel apple rather than a green candied apple. A variety of other candied fruits are also often sold at these stalls, including strawberries, grapes, mandarin oranges, and pineapples. The next stall we will be looking at is the shaved ice stand. Known as kakigori in Japan, kakigori is another summer staple snack, not only at festivals, but also at shops and street stalls as well. Kakigori is a machine-shaved ice with special flavoring drizzled on top. 
The most popular flavor is strawberry, but melon and lemon are also popular. Another popular flavor is Hawaiian blue, a blue syrup, which has seemingly inspired the Kitakami's version Alola Blue. Jumping over the ice cream stand, because ice cream is just ice cream, right? Let's move on to the two additional stalls. The first being the Yo-Yo Ball Stand. This activity is a popular festival game called Yo-Yo Tsui. Tsui translates to fishing. In this game, you pay a small fee to purchase a hook which is attached to a small sheet of thin paper. Using the paper and the hook, your aim is to hook the band of one of the yo-yo balloon balls without the paper tearing under the weight or because of the water. Although the yo-yo balls are commonly multicolored balls with various lines, dots and other printed designs, occasionally character balloons will sometimes be included. Moving to the last notable stall, that being the mask stall. Plastic masks are a very popular accessory, especially among children at Japanese festivals. A vast majority of the masks sold at festivals are modeled after popular characters, including Doraemon, Hello Kitty, Kamen Rider, and even Pokemon. However, there are also more Oni and Yokai inspired masks being sold at mask stalls. As mentioned earlier, Kitakami's Festival of Masks has always been a festival revolving around mask wearing, even before the incident between Ogopon and the Loyal Free. During real life festivals in Japan, masks are often thought of as just an accessory in most cases. But there are some festivals which revolve around mask wearing and celebration of masks. Some examples being Tokyo Mask Festival. A festival when wearing a mask, be it a Japanese only inspired, Western inspired, or pretty much any type of mask, is strongly encouraged. And Hyuga Hyotoko Mask Summer Festival in Miyazaki, Japan. A festival where people wearing Hyotoko masks dance along the streets. Japanese matsuris, no matter the celebration or the season, are a fun way to spend some time with family friends or even strangers. There's always a lot of fun activities and games to be played and even more delicious food to be eaten. While it was fun to experience a Pokemon World Mastery in the Till Mask DLC, unfortunately it felt very brief and did not fully showcase the true magic of Matsuri. Even in this video, only a small explanation of what Matsuri is was covered as I tried to stay related as much as possible to the Kitakami Festival of Masks. I really hope that one day in the future, we can get a more in-depth feel of a Pokemon World Matsuri in a future game. But if you ever find yourself in Japan, especially during the humid hot summer season, I strongly recommend buying a cool jinbe, grabbing a mask, and heading to any local Matsuri you can find. I can promise it will result in a memorable experience. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it has been informative in some way. But for now, it's time for me to say bye bye. Matane.